Hello, in this video we are going to look at connecting the Switch Pro Controller to your Linux machine so you can use it on the PCSX2 emulator which is a PlayStation 2 emulator. Okay, so what you need to do, actually let me show you the controller first. So you should be seeing the controller right now. So the way you want to do it is connect it via Bluetooth and it's got pretty low battery, my run out of battery, I need to connect it via USB to charge it. I work cable here, so it's not the end of the world. So you want to go to your Bluetooth settings on your Linux machine. It could be on Ubuntu, it could be on some other distro, some other version, doesn't matter. Just go to the Bluetooth settings. If you need any help, feel free to pop me a message. And now once you're in there, you want to keep this button pressed till it comes up as Pro Controller. There's no light that flashes for this on the controller to indicate that it's in sync mode. There we go. And oh, the light's at the bottom. Yeah. Can you see that? Pro Controller. Click that. It'll say connected any moment now. That's connected. It's still, you know, flashing like that. Ignore that. That's fine. You know, that constantly does it. But it is connected. So if we go to PCSX2, go to Config, Controllers, Plugin Settings, and make sure you've got this one selected. I'm going to clear it. It's just got the default mapping. And now we just map all the controls. Your screen will look a little bit like this. The button will be properly sized and everything will be good. The, the reason it looks like this for me is because I've zoomed in on the screen and the text is zoomed, but not the button itself. So we just got to start mapping all of the controls. Let's start with R2, R1, and then let's do the face buttons. So triangle, circle, X, and square. Now let's do analog stick up, right, down, Oh, I that was going to be left, and now now R three. Now let's switch over to this side. Right. R three. Oh, I messed up on that. I guess we need the left. There we go. And now let's do L2, L1. Now up, down, left, and right. So up, down, left, and right. I'm, I'm pretty sure that was the start of a GTA free cheat. Up, down, left, right. Like L1, no, R1, R2, L1, L2, triangle, square, circle, X, something like that. I can't remember where I did the left one or not. Yeah, okay, that's all good. I'm gonna map start and select. So select, and again, you know, you can change the mapping up. I'm just trying to map it as close to a original PS2 controller, but you know, you can feel free to change it however you want. You can reverse the analog sticks as well. So if you click this, enable force feedback does not work. So that's just something to bear in mind. So go to okay, let me show you it working. So I've already got Tekken 4 selected. I'm gonna go to fast boot so it you know doesn't show the PlayStation 2 logo just so it's a little quicker. I want to just turn the volume down. When I was a kid, I used to pronounce the name Xiao Yu. I didn't know that X I is pronounced sh like she in I think it's Chinese. Okay, you know my frame rate has dropped a bit, but that's just because I'm recording as well. But again, you know that's obviously depending on your computer. That's nothing to do with you know, the controller stuff. Okay, let me just beat him. There we go, and if I press these two, we should take us to the main menu. Okay, so that is how you connect up a Nintendo Switch Pro controller to your Linux machine so you can use it on the PC SX2 emulator. Just click escape to turn the game off. Uh, oh, and it pauses it, sorry. 
And that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome video.